I'm going to go ahead and geek out a little bit. I'm a computer scientist. I work in R&D and construction, so we play with drones, we play with scanning, we do a lot of cool stuff all day long. So what I'd like to talk to you about is all the new stuff that's coming up, and, and what I want this to be is, is applicable, right? I want these to talk about things that, that you can take home to your companies at the end of today and start using, right? So we're not going to talk about stuff that's really far out. We're going to talk about what's coming right now. So like you said, JBK Labs is the division I run. Um, we're dedicated to accelerating the architecture, engineering, construction industries using emerging technologies. So today's agenda, we're going to first talk about drones a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit about scanning. We'll talk a little about BIM. We'll talk about telemetry. And we'll wrap up talking about augmented and virtual reality. So I'm going to get you started with two thought starters. This is the first one. So this is our construction technology report. We survey a huge number of construction firms across the United States to gather this information. What we found is the vast majority of companies spend less than 1% of their annual budget on IT, right? Do you know that the construction industry is the very bottom of the list for spending on IT? While we have so many other industries today that are investing heavily in IT and reaping the benefits, right? We're doing very, very little of that. So hopefully today I can get you a little bit of information on how to really use a little bit more of that money in IT and really get some benefits out of it. Another thought starter is a quote that our CEO often says, and I, I think it's pretty darn applicable to what we're talking about. You don't have to be 10 years ahead, you just have to be one year ahead, all right? That's competitive advantage. So let's talk today about these different technologies in our agenda and how we can utilize these to be just one year ahead. So let's start off with drones. So why will we use these drones on a job site? There's two big reasons I see. One is for capturing 3D site measurements, right? Drones are, are a, a 